Dr. Maxis. What it is, I'm Kevin, Scorchard Gaming, and we are back on Moons of Madness. So last we left off, I thought we were completely stuck. Turns out I just missed a uh, prompt at the bottom of the computer to unlock this door. Oops. If you saw that in the last episode, my bad. Because I did not. <laughs> Shane, the gate is opening. Get over here ASAP. You have to see this. I'll meet you there. But there's something I have to find out first. Oh. You're all alone, little one. Sometimes I feel alone, too. We're both alone here. Together. Okay. Don't sound good. Another floor 10, god dang. Take a Oh, security clearance down. <laughs> okay. It's built like a bunker down here. See anything that looks like a command center or a. Declan. Declan? Course. All right, Shane. You got this, Chief. I imagine we're pretty far down under the surface of Mars at this point. They hide like rats under the floorboards. Stick the antenna. I have seen where they wound slither like snakes amongst the leaves. Yeah, fresh crowbar. Oh no, that one's used for murder. We shouldn't take that one. I think people were going that way to get out of here. So in that case, let's keep going in. Always a good idea. And now we might be infected. That's a little statue. Both little statues. Now we're gonna start seeing some fucking freaky shit. My god. Huh. It's completely taken over. Kills! Seething tendrils of a hive, ever expanding! Fools! They cannot be contained! Okay. Oh shit. Okay, so the tendril, the the tendrils and sh ten all that shit is starting to hurt us now, just in general. Oh fuck. Turn in here. I don't think so. I don't see anything in there. Right, right now we don't need to be in there. Some cool blue crystals. A bunch of mumbo jumbo to me. What we got here? Jesus. Hirochi has leverage on everyone. You obtained the files, request them, and place them onto this console for review. The files include detailed avenues of leverage against the Invictus crew. If there is need to put into place additional surveillance measures, we are prepared to do so. We wish your visit a pleasant one. Center Service Control. Ina Volkova, at age 27, Dr. Ina Volkova was directly involved in the Avaria versus Fritjiv, which gained significance internally as the incident at Krychaw. For several years she had worked at a decommissioned military base a few miles outside the Krychaw, Belarus. Thousands in the small city were killed by an explosion at the base, an explosion meant to cover up a horrific containment breach of the alien the research. The high-profile trial uncovered several classified experiments attributed with Volkova 
with high-ranking officials within the government denying knowledge of her research before a verdict could be delivered Volkova fled Belarus and claimed asylum at the Russian Federation Embassy in Tokyo stationed at the embassy exiled in extradition Ina was unable to continue her research we offered her the opportunity to work without restraint she accepted under the terms of the strictest NDA and forced return to Belarus upon disclosure with her ethical integrity uh, is question well while her in ethical integrity is questionable her skill is undeniable recommend vigilance surveillance and determination of trust upon skill upon results me Shane Newhart minor childhood trauma documented by licensed family psychiatrist fear of abandonment mild social anxiety and uh, graduated PhD in mechanical engineering of peculiar no create a practical equation to explain the theoretical underpinnings of Yang Mills and the mass gap in the sophomore year the Apocritical claim is that it was made in a single weekend, otherwise unremarkable. Uh, Dr. Newhart is key in her understanding of Cynthia Newhart's studies and possible whereabouts. Recommends continued surveillance of home and office. Potential asset for leverage is Newhart, if Newhart ever re emerges from isolation. Recommend hiring a local medic or office. Any information. Accept all salary requirements and push for more information. But they don't know where her mother is. First Lieutenant Josephine Wilcox, Special Forces Distinguished Service Cross, received in 2052, Court Martial in 2055, Dishonorable Discharge, uh, Determination? Dishonorable Discharge in 2055. Record commuted, evidence expunged. Oh, that went too far. Commander Wilcox resigned her post as of February 22nd, 2055, retaining her exemplary record and citing personal reasons for her exit. As per contract, Wilcox will begin employment at a California based medical facility under the strictest NDA. Uh, record, record of discharge, Al Mawid, Yemen. Uh, 2054. Friendly fire incidents reported six undercover agents killed during a uh, strategic raid of suspected uranium smuggling operation. Wilcox led team, suffered zero casualties, facility neutralized. Uh, two days later, in Inciting incidents of Commander Wilcox court martial proceedings, multiple witnesses. After brief altercation, Josephine Wilcox discharged a pistol at a range of less than one meter, causing a perforating wound to the skull of Commanding Officer Major Corey Houston. Wilcox lured, turned, and fired a second and third gunshot, which entered the chest and shoulder of Captain Alan Sheffield. Before team members could advance and pull Wilcox away, another two shots were fired, critically wounding Captain Jaden. Alan in the thigh and groin. Final shots were discharged into the ceiling as officers on site wrestled her firearm away and retained her. Major Houston and Captain Sheffield died. In. Captain Jaden Alan died to transit to medical facilities. Her squad defended her actions, echoing the sentiment that the officers in question knowingly caused a friendly fire scenario through mismanagement. And the Wilcox will receive no punitive action for these events so long as we exert our influence. Declan. Uh, blah 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 blah. Oh, trafficking heroin, possession of controlled substance, sentenced five years, served five months. Declan Delapore has a history of substance abuse, having self admitted to rehabilitation centers twice. His court sentence closely coincides with divorce proceedings, which were finalized in 2048 on November 13, 2049. Declan Delapore was admitted to a mental health facility. For evaluation after an attempted suicide. Orochi recruitment has confirmed that Delapore has remained clean over the 12 years as of January, 20, January 1st, 2062, during which time he has completed his degree with, in, with honors. He has experienced significant, significant difficulties upon graduation due to his incarceration, and Orochi's offer of employment has been contingent on his willingness to maintain secrecy. Delapore is a highly motivated individual and Orochi has made arrangements for Orochi's records. Past. Oh, Lucas, what the fuck? Restraining order, restraining order, restraining order. Violation of restraining order. Okay, Dr. Van Buren's sociopathic tendencies were well documented during the youth therapy. Lucas displays difficulty reading emotions and lack of empathy for others in social settings. It notes that he was admitted to therapy after his parents discovered him pouring vivisection on the family cat. Dr. Van Buren's contributions to the field of 
philology are vast. Its dedication helped trace the evolution of Central American language to its orientation point. Most recently, he has helped translate Orochi's newly discovered ancient texts into fair maps. Orochi has maintained surveillance of, all, of Dr. Van Buren's activities during the disappearances of Abigail White and Tia Anders' 2054 and 2055, respectively. The video show Lucas violently kill, kidnapping and assaulting women. Okay, that's why I'm choking them until. And then doing stuff to the bodies and getting rid of them. The chances of violence altercation are slim, well within acceptable risk. Dr. Van Buren has seen recordings. He will accept and then give them without question. Okay. Oh. Okay. That's fucked up. So. Fuck. Okay, that's that's a blocked window. Probably don't want to see what's in there anyway. Great more robots. More statues. Tentacle face. Cthulhu. Like an egg sack thing? Now we're getting to the meat and bones of all this shit. So used to work 3 being the uh, flashlight in games. Big mouth. Tall and slim. And Cthulhu. Don't wake up, don't wake up, don't wake up. Everything's, well, everything's not fine in the facility. We got this shit now. What? Oh, fuck you. I ain't playing these games. What is that? Excuse me? What is that? It's fucking right. <gasps> what is that? What is this? What is all of this? Oh, uh, fucking. Club. Another fucking thing. Okay. Moving on. So fucking many of them. Oh, oh, fuck. Dead? Be dead. Fuck me. I mean, we jumped the fuck up. Mars needs to be fucking annihilated now. <laughs> Can't see what's down there. Is so, are we gonna like run into Declan and Josephine? What if it's connected? You're trembling, little one. Let me swaddle you in the viscera and wrap you in the nature of my bones. Stop it! Oh, Get out of my head! You could crack open your helmet like a walnut. And my voices will soon. Not in the spaces we know, but in between. Joke's on you, I'm not wearing a helmet. Fuck you, bitch. I don't want to use this yet, I don't know. It's 
explore a little bit. We gotta find the code for here, okay. So we will use the other thing now in a minute. I'll just keep looking over this side. Oh boy, what the fuck? What is that? Excuse me? Are they fucking clones? We're all expendable assets to Orochi. Wasn't enough to know all our secrets. They can't leverage us, they'll just replace us. They fucking cloned us. The Icarus Project is authorized to enact a contingency plan in case of unforeseen circumstances that may put the Invictus crew at risk. A replica of the individual will be made and preserved until a severe violation has occurred. Severe violations of company policy include the following unauthorized transmission of operations information to an outside source for gathering content, verbal threat of intent to control or sabotage mission objectives or company equipment, homicide, witnessing homicide, sustaining a fatal or crippling injury, witnessing the retrieval or release of clone subject. Please review proper safety guidelines before retrieval or release of clone individual. Discretion is of the utmost importance. Failure to follow protocol guidelines will result in immediate termination. Okay, at least all the cryostasis are active. Huh. Holy shit! That's... That's all of us! The entire Invictus crew! Are we the originals? Or the copies? Okay, let's... Like incubators for smaller versions? Are they growing multiple? End. Split from a single seed. Germinated, scribbled on carbon paper, they multiply like vermin. Sentience is a glitch in the sensory organs. Pain, a cancer fed by reality. Ugh. Uh, we are experimenting with the substance phenomenon slash entity, oftentimes called filth. What Dr. Volkova prefers to call the path. Each sample tightly contained and weakened with a particular re uh, regimen of radiation, as per the Icarus protocols. The goal of this experiment is to see uh, is to see if the effects of this preternatural containment are the same on cloned human tissue and cloned hybrid human tissue. They're, oh, that's probably what the fucking thing that was chasing us is as on normal human tissue. If the effects are the same, how do they differ? Today we applied min minute amounts of the filth on clone cells using the safety protocols and observed. The effects were largely similar with the molecules of containment attacking the cells. However, the process moved more slowly than observed before. The filth has escaped. I have sealed my safety suit and performed all the emergency protocols I have injected. This radiated serum has outlined the location. Side effects are intense and mundane far better than the alternative. How did this happen? There was no breach. I think the theory that the filth flows even undulates under uh, along dimensions outside of a perceived three may have merit. I have sent for help. I am trying not to panic. I am recording the finding this mishap afford, affords. Voices continue. I ignored my first qu congratulate myself on my rationalism, but then the voices learned to mimic my voice, and I thought they were me, and I was the voice. No, that doesn't make sense. The radiation must be working. My limbs have begun to do things on their own, but only when I'm not looking. I have to stare at my limbs very carefully or they misbehave. I've made a careful regimen of making sure not to not look at any one part, body part for more than seven seconds. I have to keep watching them except for my right arm. Good arm. I'm, sci I'm a scientist. I'm a scientist. Cut off arm today. Right arm. Good arm. Only uncorrupted part. Pristine. It will be pristine forever. Stored good arm in morgue. Code nine five ten. I'm scientist. Will lock myself in padded room. Everyone is safe. Scientist, scientist, scientist. Blah, 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 blah. I think I got that last bit pretty accurately. Oh, yes. So we're getting the arm for that. That's what the code is for. Let's check over this side though. Oh, he's in one of these. He escaped from one of these. He's the thing, isn't he? Oh boy. 
Oh, oh motherfucker. And leave. That door is cracked open. Fuck that. Oh, fuck. Come on. Okay. The fuck's your arm? It's not there, I can clearly see it's not there. Oh uh, god. That's disgusting. A tactile tool, tender. Untethered. Don't pull it out. I don't know why I opened all these, I probably shouldn't. <laughs> oh man. Gets in. Oh fuck! Oh, shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Come on! That done it? No, it doesn't reach it. Come on! Oh my god! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Come on! Come on! Yeah, yeah, it doesn't care about it. Open! 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 Oh my god! It takes so long. Oh fuck me! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on. What do I need to hit? What do I need to hit? Go, 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 go. Okay, come on, come on, I think we know what happened to the, uh... People of the Argus facility. But... We're down low now. And that is going to be the end of this episode. Oh man. It's getting fucking scary. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Sayonara.